you already know what it is comment like share and subscribe have your four hops ready and if you can put four pans on there these are the ingredients that you will need we're talking the main ingredients which is butter or oil we need some plain flour okay some milk some eggs and some salt some nutmeg and cinnamon optional baking powder optional if you want it to be a bit fluffy and then for extras to make it Dutch you can add some cheese or bacon and for toppings there's some Dutch syrup there you can put some honey some icing sugar with lemon which is very British uh, jam maple syrup or sugar whatever you want there's 500 grams of plain flour four eggs and one liter of milk now use an electric hand mixer if you don't want a lot of stress and mix it up really really good you can get lumps really easily so make sure you you spend a good amount of time that's me putting salt trust it's not too too much um although it does look like it's loads again those things are optional put your butter in there so I actually these days like making it more with oil and then using a kitchen towel to actually remove the excess oil from the pan before putting my batter in but <laughs> these pans that I had when I made this video were not that great so I needed a lot of butter or something in there so that my pancakes wouldn't stick not sure if you have this kind of hub it's gonna take you a while to make these pancakes and yeah if you can use all four hubs please do because it will save you a lot of time you can always add extra of the batter just to make sure that you get a nice round pancake you obviously still see some some interesting lines from doing that but it's fine Sometimes you'll find yourself flipping but the pancake isn't really done but it doesn't matter it's better than having it toasty so what you are looking for is the sides to be crispy like you can see here did you see that mm -hmm. now here comes the Dutch part the fun part so we're gonna add cheese and make it real cheesy so um, since Mandem is on a budget just kind of you know took some che cheese pieces <laughs> to kind of make it go a bit further um, yep, we just finished food for go February, so Mandem is still thinking about that point, okay? So you put the cheese on the batter whilst it's still battery, if you know what I mean. So you put it on there whilst it's still raw and not cooked, and then it sticks to the batter, right? And then you top it up with fresh batter so that it's like encapsulated within the batter. What happens then when you flip it over mm -hmm. is that... The cheese is contained within the pancake. Do you hear what I'm saying? I mean, the cheese is in there, ooey gooey, stringy, stretchy, and just delicious. You thought that was it. You can do bacon, honey. So it's the same kind of process. You try and get both sides coated. You can coat them like this by using some of the butter that's already in the pan, and then you can top it off by still adding extra butter because we want it to be covered so that when you flip it over, it's not gonna burn and be super toasty and crunchy. Boom, bam. Just like that, you got your nice, delicious Dutch pancakes with your schenkstrook. Ain't none nobody can tell you. This stuff is so good. So, Let's hear what these people gotta say about it. Mm, my first thought is, yum, it's your stuff. <laughs> Yum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's your it's second nice. thought? <laughs> yeah, what's your second thought? Yum because there's cheese. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to get to the bacon. Mm -hmm. I just got to the bacon and mm -hmm. the combination with the syrup is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It works. Yay! Mm -hmm. It's duck syrup too. Yep, mm -hmm. it sure mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Approved? Fantastically approved. Yeah. As always, the dope beats were brought to you by Young Kingler. This one is called Recurring Dream because you know you've been dreaming about pancakes since last month. <laughs> Happy Pancake Day. Make time for glorious life. Mwah.